Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today we're talking about two brand new Primite cards right on cue. The last time we did a news video, I literally said at the end of it, I'm, I'm expecting Primite cards to come out soon because they're getting to the point where they're hitting some of the other newer archetypes that have been released in recent sets and Primite should be on the slate. Um, I really like Primite as an engine. I, I don't think it's going to see much play aside from very niche situations. And... Uh, I just hope they capitalize on it because I think the engine's very interesting. I think the engine has potential. I just don't think it's good enough just yet or or at least tailored enough to the couple of decks that do have good synergy with it to, to fire at will. Um, so we'll have to see on that. But we have a new main deck monster and a trap, which is kind of interesting. I'm on the record saying I'd love to see this archetype get a vanilla of its own that way it is a vanilla that you can summon off of all the effects that get them for free while also being um while also be having primite in the name that way there are a couple of effects that just get you free resources back in the grind game um we'll all be able to trigger but uh by having it on the field but uh in fact we do see another uh effect monster here which just was just makes that a little tougher um hopefully we get that down the line um but yeah, for now, we'll just keep it with what we got. So let's start off here. This is Primite Another Barrel. I don't really know entirely what that means, but it's a funny name. Uh, excuse me. Level four Earth Dragon Effect Monster, 1600 attack, zero defense. You can only use these second and third effects of this card once per turn. Very cool. If this card is normal, summoned. You can set one Primite Speller Trap from your deck. Um. Okay, that does make this card a, like, one card. It makes it an additional starter for you, so that's kind of nice. Um, right? Normal summon this, site lord, uh, set Lordly Load, and then you can just activate Lordly Load. Uh, for literally any of the other Speller Traps, you would have to set them, and they are, I think, every other card in the archetype, Speller Trap-wise, is either a quick play or a trap, so you are they are dead for the turn and then they're live next turn so that's something to note is that it's pretty slow if you're not getting exactly lordly load but it is still plus one. Second effect you can tribute this card then normal or send one normal monster from your deck to the graveyard interesting just send this won't like it, mm, I wish this would have just summoned straight from the deck like this is a neg one technically where you're literally just losing a body to put a card that does not do anything in grave um i sort of get it just because it does clear itself off the field so that way you can activate something like roar or the traps that need you to have no monsters on field but i just wish the payoff was actually like something because like technically with roar you would be able to go tribute this card to summon a vanilla from deck and then you could just chain roar roar summon one from deck because you would like if it tributes for cost in that in that position in the chain you would have no monsters so you could summon off of roar then resolve this to summon a second vanilla and you haven't even used lordly loads effect to summon a third vanilla you know so like a little little sad that we can't do that and that it just sends because like putting them in grave is not like that useful i guess you have a lot of effects that say you know what i mean you want like based on a what, what vanillas you have on field or grave so i guess if something else is getting hand trapped and you're not able to resolve some of the other cards it does guarantee you a vanilla in grave but at the cost of just like like you're giving up the only body on your field for it i i, I don't know this seems a little this seems a little bit of a uh, maybe not worth it i don't know third effect during the standby phase or your standby phase excuse me if you have a normal monster on your field or in your graveyard you can add this card from your graveyard to your hand um that's fine that's that's a decent a little effect um yeah that's good i i do think since uh, lordly load only searches the turn like when it's activated it's on activation um that is pretty nice because that means just like whether you your board got broken or not you should have a vanilla in your grave on your next standby so you do just get him back you can normal him again grab lordly load again activate lordly load or set lord load yeah activate lord load search one of the other cards again and boom you're kind of you know what i mean you're able to re-establish and basically reset up all over again that's fine that's fine um yeah i mean he's additional copies of a starter but 
you know, he takes your normal summon. You know, and I've got... I don't know if I'm fully impressed by this card, to be honest. Like, overall. But, uh, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Uh, yeah, he, he's... It's something to look at, but I don't know if he's actually going to make it in because this deck is normally played as an engine to assist de uh, like decks that already kind of have a normal summon but just want extra extension ability. Interesting. All right. And the new trap card is Primite Resounding Reaction. This is a counter trap card. You can only use the first and second effects of this card once per turn. When your opponent would normal or special summon a monster, while you control a normal monster or a level 5 or higher Primate monster, except a token. Oh, so it doesn't count a token. Negate the summon, and if you do, destroy that monster. During your standby phase, if you control a Primate monster, you can set this card from your graveyard, but banish it when it leaves the field. Interesting. So, here's another thing that just kind of annoys me with this card, is that, like, I think the worst cards in the archetype are the effect monsters because the deck's all about putting vanillas on the field if we had a vanilla that actually had primite in the name that and it had okay it had good enough stats that would probably be the monster we're summoning most of the time off of all these effects and it would it would like give us our normal monster requirement that a lot of our effects have and this card just like i think it's it used to be called shiller i think it's like drill beam now these interruptive cards that say if you control a primite monster, you can just set these cards back to your field. They don't work if you have the vanilla. You have to play the effect monsters, but in certain decks, you don't really want to. They're kind of awkward and clunky, so I don't love that. But as an interruption, this card's fine. You know, it's, it just negates a summon, um, which is an okay interaction, but like we've seen a lot of cards get printed with this type of interaction, and everybody's like... It's still a little bit too, like, directed. Like, you know what I mean? Give us an Omni. Give us a Spell and Trap Negate only. You know, something like that uh, is going to have a little more runway in a deck like this where it's, it feels like better protection overall. Plus, like, a Drill Beam is just better. Like, why are you ever getting this if you can get Drill Beam? So, I don't know. Just weird. I, I don't think this card's that good. I don't think this card would see play in most versions of this engine. Um, but, yeah... To be honest, a little disappointed in this wave, you know? I felt like the first wave had such good potential. This monster's not bad. Depending on the deck you play it in, it's not terrible. It is additional copies of a starter, but from what I've seen, most of the decks that would even consider playing this engine are decks that already have a normal summon because this engine doesn't require you to use your normal summon. It can still get you, like, a body, an interruption engrave, and potentially another body later in the turn. Uh, before locking you and like that's where some of the a lot of the value comes out of this engine so uh it's weird but like i'm a little disappointed in this to be honest uh hopefully we get a vanilla soon and hopefully we just get like a little bit of improvement now i do think the normal something could be good I, like the way I, I do think the normal something could be good is if they really do keep pushing forward with primite and in the next like one or two core sets they get like legit more waves and like they actually turn into like a full-on playable strategy like primite as a whole if they turn that into a full-on playable strategy then i think this card's good right because he just is probably your best normal summon he gets you to early load and then he can get you to any of the others if you already have it and that that can be pretty good um but for now i'm not totally impressed uh, i don't think with where the deck is now these are the kind of cards that make much of a difference so We'll have to see. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Those are just my thoughts on it. Um, sorry I went a little bit in depth, but this is an engine that I, I was kind of hyped for, and I'm, I'm a little let down by these, but uh, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Let me know your thoughts uh, on the new cards, like how much more or less are you uh, high on these cards than me. I'd love to hear, um, I'd love to hear where you guys land on them, but... Uh, I'm out here for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, this we're getting close to, I think, down to like 30-ish cards left in the set. Uh, I don't know if you, I don't know if I said it in one of the videos, but they did announce that the OCG live stream for the set will they'll probably reveal 10 plus cards, a couple of new waves of support for certain archetypes and stuff. Um, that is going to be Thursday this week, so stay tuned for that. Um, they may go do a couple of sprinkle cards in between there. I don't expect anything like huge in between there, uh, because that's going to be, you know, that's going to be 10 plus cards, getting us close to, uh, you know, the end of the set being revealed. And uh, I'm really excited for it. Hopefully they finish strong, and then we can talk more about the set as a whole around then. But. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will keep you to, uh, posted with all things uh, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! news-wise uh, as far as reveals go for new cards. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.